Uh, you're going to love this box opening. Uh, it's going to be dry as a dead dingo's donger. So please enjoy. This is a personal review of the Tilter Camera Cage Professional Camera Protective Case Basic Kit for Canon R5C. Also the Tilter Smart V-Mount Battery Base Plate for the Canon R5C. Okay, so here we have the Tilta Smart V mount battery base plate. Uh, ordered this on eBay, it was about 150, 170 Australian bucks or so. Okay, so moving on to the unit itself. Uh, when you first pick it up, you'll notice it feels awesome. It's super smooth, uh, feels strong. It's definitely going to cop a beating, so it's nice that it feels like it's made tough. Um, you know, the bottom's going to get mounted with uh, the base plate and then get smashed by putting on the ground and all sorts of different things that ends up happening on shoots. Um, you've got the cable clamps, uh, which seem nice. Um, it all looks and feels quite sturdy. It um, slides on really nice. Um, locks in place and uh, once you use the release button it is super easy and um, yeah just made really well all right moving on to the cage itself interested by this because I have the small rig version already so it'll be quite Interesting to see if I feel the tilt one is any better or not. Looks good, feels light, uh, feels strong. Uh, it's got the magnetic tool, which I look forward to losing on a job somewhere as it falls off. But the magnet does feel pretty strong, but it just takes a knock and uh, off they all go. But that's across all the brands. So there is two mounting points, um, one being the standard um, uh, quarter inch that goes where the you know, tripod mount would go in the center. The other is this locking pin, which you definitely need to undo uh, before you go to put the camera in. So um, loosen it. Uh, you'll need a flathead device of some sort. It doesn't come in the tilted bag. Um, just get that flush on the top so that the camera will slide in before you try. Now it feels a little funny when you first put it in because this cage sits very, uh, because the cage sits away from the camera for a lot of it, uh, particularly on that left side. Um, which is good because it gets it away from the accessory points. So the USB and the mic and the headphone and all that jazz keeps it away from that. But uh, it does seem a little strange when you're first trying to get it in. But just um, have a look at the bottom uh, where it lines up with that tripod mount hole and uh, you'll know you're in the right spot. The very top um, above the lens, so where the uh, viewfinder kind of area where the prism normally was is um, just kind of sits touching it, but it's got a bit of rubber on there, so it's not, shouldn't scratch. But we shall see what happens. Um, pop the locking pin back in, um, and then you got to put the uh, quarter inch um, or quarter 20 um, screw into a locket as the main part. Right, so moving ahead, it's all connected now, so I'm just gonna check that everything's as tight as it needs to be. Um, yeah, it feels, it feels pretty good. I was keen to have a look and just see how much give it has. Um, I've definitely noticed on the other cages, uh, yeah, for the C70, um, there's a bit of kind of give diagonally when you put pressure on one side because it's only 
got um, you know, the, the one or the two mounting points. Um, but no, it feels, feels quite strong on the body and it doesn't feel like the body's going to move, um, particularly f you know, if you push front to back. Um, it seems pretty good. And where the um, top plate is touching you know, the, the very top of the camera there in front of the hot shoe, um, it doesn't seem like there's too much give to uh, rub and cause any problems. Um, all the doors seem to open well and get you, they're not impeding your battery door or your um, card door. Uh, and that magnet seems pretty strong for that tool, so should go all right. Uh, now you've got the, the accessory um, for the RF to EF or EF to RF mount attachment. Um, I didn't put this on the um, C70 because of that give in the cage. I didn't want it then because it actually fixes to the bottom of the C70 adapter. It uh, worried me that it would actually put pressure on there if the cage moved. Um, I don't really have a problem with this version for the R5C because it's not a physically screwing into um, the adapter. It's just sitting there um, on the adapter. So it's, I don't think it's going to put any pressure and I've just kind of put it so it's just lightly touching or just there's the tiniest bit of gap so I'm more confident that it's not going to actually hurt or put pressure on the mount. Overall it feels really good. I'm pretty pretty impressed, pretty happy. So now we're uh, attaching the camera and um, slides in nice and easy, locks on, um, there, yeah. so it's a funny, funny concept putting such a big battery under it, but uh, it's definitely an option. Um, now we'll pop the uh, cable and battery in. Um, I think it's a bit interesting that the cable goes forward out of the camera. Um, so I think it's definitely going to be a case of finding a, some sort of shallow right angled um, USB-C just to get a bit of cable management because um, it just looks, it just goes straight out of the, the battery plate there. Um, so I think there's something needs to happen there um, to make that a bit neater. Otherwise, I think it's definitely going to get um, caught up or knocked or just just doesn't look that crash hot. Um, so when I first put it in, I put it into the USB-C port, but um, what you want to do is actually put it in the uh, PD out, which... Uh, that was just me being stupid, but uh, once you've got it in the once you've got it in the uh, the PD port, it uh, we're all good. So once you uh, pop it in the correct port, which I hadn't done. Um, your camera will now get the voltage it needs and uh, you're underway so you can do you know the raw shooting and charge your batteries or whatever you need to do um, so it 100% works um, when you turn the camera off um, and you leave the cables in it'll just charge the internal uh, well not the internal but it'll charge the uh, Canon battery in the camera um, so I kind of feel it's going to be a mixed bag of use. Um, 
whether you leave it on full time or um, kind of just have it close by to be your kind of V-mount uh, charging station. Um, but once I try it on a couple of jobs, I'll just feel, get used to the size and position. But that initial, um, my initial disappointment is the USB coming straight out the front. Um, so I'm gonna have to sort that. Um, the cable lock on the cage itself is, is fine. Um, but again, I'm gonna look for a different cable um, just to get that protrusion, the cable coming so horizontally out is uh, just, gonna, just gonna get in the way. So um, overall, pretty stoked. It looks cool, it feels good. So good to have a USB-C option on a V-mount plate. Um, I did struggle to kind of search for those and uh, this one's so affordable. Um, pretty impressed, so overall I think Tilt has done a fabulous job. Um, and I look forward to actually getting it out and uh, using it on jobs and just seeing if it, uh, if it makes my life any better. All right, so now we've got the top handle uh, from Tilter. Uh, so this one is the Tilter top handle quick release. Uh, this came with the, um, the pack that I got with the cage. Um, it was definitely one of the handles I was looking at anyway, so I was pretty, pretty happy to get it in the, the, in the package. Um, having the locking pin on the top cold shoe uh, is just a great safety uh, as I use a cold shoe um, mount for my monitor. So that's cool. And then having the uh, uh, 15 mil rod hole uh, will be sweet to chuck a um, microphone accessory to if needed and or um, wireless transmitter or something, whatever you need that to be. But uh, it feels good. It doesn't add too much weight to the camera. Uh, I did read someone else talking about um, that screw, uh, that um, that spring does die pretty quickly. Um, so I might grab a few spares of that, but we'll keep an eye on how long that lasts. So overall, I think it's um, pretty cool. Um, USB-C powering the Canon R5C. Um, Got to sort that cable out. Um, that's going to be a nightmare. All my thoughts are my own. I haven't been paid for this. I purchased these items with my own Australian dollars. And uh, I bought them on eBay and they were delivered today. So very excited. Please enjoy.